Welcome to the month of February. Welcome to the month of greater works. Welcome to the month of power. Welcome to the month of grace and manifestation of the evidence of God's power. Today I present to the world, greater than Moses is here. Every mountain that stands against you, there is a power. There is a greater one that is able to handle that mountain. Today, I want to assure you that you are listening, watching from wherever you are, that God will step into your case this month. God will set you apart, separate you from ancient altars and ancient manifestations of evil. From today, the Lord will take over your battle. From today, the Lord will take over every battle that faces you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, greater than Moses, was born for the purpose of setting mankind free. For this reason, Jesus was made manifest that whosoever that believes in him will never be put to shame. And today that spirit that unction is released from the throne of grace. That whosoever that believes in our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth will never be put to shame. Zechariah chapter 4, and I want to read. Zechariah chapter 4. If you are there and you have your Bible with you, let's go to the book of Zechariah chapter 4. And I'm going to read from verse 6 of Zechariah chapter 4. Then he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of God. Okay, let me take us back so that you know what is going on. Zechariah chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 1. And an angel that talked with me came again and woke me up. As a man that is weakened out of his sleep. And the angel of the Lord that talked with me came again and woke me up as a man that is woken out of his sleep. And he said unto me, What is it that you see? And I said, I have looked, and behold, I see a candlestick of gold with a bowl upon the top of it, with a bowl upon the top of it, and its seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof, and two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and spoke to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these? What are these things, my Lord? And then the angel answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, no, I don't know because I'm just a mortal man. And then he answered and said unto me, This is the word of God. This is the word of God. There is power in the word of God. And there is grace from the word of God. It is that revelation in the word of God which is the power through which mankind can be saved. That is what we want to talk about. That power is coming from the Lord himself. And he said unto me, that word is for you. That word is for anyone that cares to understand what the Spirit of the Lord is saying, even at this moment. This is the word of 
the Lord unto Zerubbabel. This is the word of the Lord unto you. And this is the word of the Lord unto me. This day I covet this word. And he said, it's not by power, neither is it by might, but by the spirit of the living God. That spirit of the living God is what is going to go into operation in your life and in your family. That those people that you think they are after you to destroy you will be put to shame. Those enemies of yours, those enemies of your family will be put to shame. For greater than Moses is here. They challenged Moses in the days of, of God's power to take the children of God out of the bondage of Egypt. They challenged Moses. They could not prevail. They did all what they could to bring Moses down. But they could not prevail. Even the Egyptians, the pharaohs, they tried to destroy not only Moses, but the whole of Israel. But the Lord appeared before them by their Red Sea. I don't know what confronts you. It may look like a Red Sea that you cannot cross. This month of February, we are crossing our Red Seas. For greater than Moses is the one leading us to victory. Greater than Moses is the one leading you to your own victory and to your own success. From henceforth, you are no longer alone if you believe. The Spirit of the living God is willing and able to lead you to conquer and to take boundaries and to take territories. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, you may be passing through one thing or the other, but I can assure you that with God, nothing shall be impossible. Nothing shall be impossible when you call unto God. And I know that this day, God will not fail you. God will not fail me. God has never failed. When the children of God, we are stuck by the Red Sea. Even Moses did not know what to do. And Moses said to them, the only thing I have to say now is for you to be still and see the salvation of the Lord. Because on the right hand side, you will see a mountain. On the other side is another mountain. And in front of them is the Red Sea. As a human being, you are surrounded with all kinds of difficulties, all kinds of problems. For me, I refuse to surrender. For me, I refuse to budge. For you, if you know the God that you serve, you have to stand strong on the word of God. For God is willing and able to deliver his and to set us free from the hands of evil ones. Right where you are this morning, Open your heart unto God. Open your mind unto what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. You may not know my face. You may not know me. I may not be as big as those whom you believe in. But there is one thing I know. That there is only one God. And when you call on him, he will answer. God is interested in your case. God is interested in your victory. That battle that you are fighting alone, surrender all things unto God and he will take over. And he said to them, this word is coming for you, Zerubbabel. It's for the governor of Judah. It's for the president of nations. It's for the governor of states. It's for the leaders of the church. I don't know your names, but in this context, this word of God that is being released today is directed to you. You are the Zerubbabel of your family. You are the Zerubbabel of your destiny. And 
He said, it's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, say the Lord of hosts. And he goes down to verse 7 to brag and to show power. And he said, Who art thou, O great mountain? Who art thou, you powers and authorities, that you think you can stop the children of God from moving? Every child of God is a moving train. Any man that is born of the Spirit of God is a moving train, is a thunder before his hindrances. And the Lord said, Who art thou, mountains? <laughs> Who art thou, powers and authorities? When the authority is not from God, there is a greater power, greater authority than that which you challenged in the past. You may have challenged them and you may have gotten your way. Greater than Moses is here. Oh, thou great mountain. Oh, thou great powers and authorities. Greater than Moses is here. And no man can challenge him. God who is addressed as Jehovah Nissi, the lion of the tribe of Judah, is here. He is here to disgrace those who have imagined evil in their hearts who have buried one thing or the other against you. From this month of February, your deliverance will come. From this month of February, your liberation will come. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I don't know who I'm talking to, but the Lord knows your name. Who are thou great mountains that stand against Zerubbabel? That stand before Zerubbabel? Oh, thou shalt become a plain ground. Thou shalt be leveled very soon. And the bulldozers of heaven are already in action. The bulldozers of heaven are already in action to bulldoze out of our ways those mountains of destruction, that mountain of sickness and disease, that mountain of frustration, that mountain of no progress. That mountain of no hope. That mountain is being eroded by the power from above. In the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth, the Lord said that that mountain shall be made plain. And right from where I stand today, right from where I am this morning, I see every mountain that stands against you coming down, coming down, coming down. I see the hand of God stretched against your adversaries. I see the thunder of heaven being released against those who are incensed against you. Those who have imagined evil against you and saying, let us see how far you will go. May the Lord take over your battle from this moment. May the Lord take over your battle from this time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every chain of of hindrances, every cobweb of hindrances that is set against you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your name is already in the scripture as Zerubbabel. But the Lord knows your name, where you are. That mountain shall be made plain. That cobweb shall be burnt into ashes. Oh, that chain shall be broken tonight. That Chain shall be broken this morning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible said that when it is too hot for a child of God to handle, and that is when God steps in. You are serving a God of power. You are serving a God that when he says a thing, he brings it to come to pass. Oh, this day is a day of liberation. And this moment is your moment of freedom. And this is your moment of deliverance. If you believe it, it shall come to pass. If you believe it, you will see the glory of God taking place. The power of God disrupting the, the plans of the enemy in your life. For all their plans shall be disconfited. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all the plans of the enemy shall be eroded by the power from on high. There is a flood from heaven that is going to Come down 
and to chase those things away. Anything that is buried in the ground against you. God is going to raise a flood tonight. God is going to raise a flood tonight. That when that flood comes down, that thing that is buried in the ground will be exposed by that flood. And it is a flood of power. It is a flood of God's power and God's glory. It shall come like thunder. It shall come like brimstone. To flood your area, you will not be touched, but your enemies will be electrocuted. Those who plot evil against you will be electrocuted and be crushed into powder. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Elijah said, if I be a man of God, ha, oh, let fire come down from heaven. My father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, if you are the God that created the heavens and the earth, open the gate of hell to rain fire and brimstone in the camp of the enemies of your children. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whosoever that says that your children will not enjoy their life on this earth. My father, let the flood, the flood of hell be opened. Let the flood of hell be opened and let the camp of the enemy be invaded by the power of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the camp of my enemy and the enemies of these guys, these men and women watching me, these people of God, these children of God, whether they are born again or not, Father, fight their battles for them. Ah, the Bible says that in the days of power, <laughs> ah, the people shall be willing. My Father, let the power that comes from above locate the camp of the enemies of these that are under the sound of my voice. Uh, these men and women that are under the sound of my voice, listening to this message at this point, whether after now or now, my father, let the gate of hell be opened and let the camp of their enemies be soaked with fire and blood, be soaked with fire and brimstone. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who are thou great mountains, my father, let those mountains that confront your children begin to melt now. Let those mountains that confront your children begin to melt now. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that mountain that brings all kinds of pain into your body, into your life, into your system. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that mountain, I command that mountain to melt this morning. I command that mountain to melt this night. I command that, melt, that, that mountain to melt this afternoon. Depending on the time when they will hear this message. Father, in the name of Jesus, cut of Nazareth. Every mountain, every mountain that stands against these ones. Father, may those mountains begin to crumble down. May those mountains begin to, 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 to crack now. May those mountains begin to go down now. May those sicknesses begin to disappear now. Because of the anointing, every mountain that is against you, Shikarebo Sindaraboska, we melt this afternoon. The heat of heaven, the heat of hell will locate that mountain, but will not see you, will not touch you. The, the, the heat from hell, the heat from hell, ha, ha, ha. Le the, the, the heat from hell will melt that mountain, that mountain of sickness, mountain of disease. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse you. I curse you in the lives of these hearers. I curse you in the lives of men and women that are under the sound of my voice. You sickness, you disease, I curse you. I curse you and I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I command the fire of the Holy Ghost and the thunder of heaven to locate the source from where these sicknesses are coming from. Oh, let the source catch fire now. Let the source of affliction, let the pot of affliction be broken. Let the pot of affliction be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, God, arise this morning. Oh, God, arise this afternoon. Oh, God, arise this night that the enemies of your children will be scattered and will be destroyed forever and ever in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right where you are, as you believe in the word of God, the word of God will not fail you. For he says, who are thou 
Oh, great mountain before Zerubbabel, before Osmond, before any name that is watching me now. Oh, thou shalt be made plain, and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouts, crying, Grace, grace, grace. That man that you have been tormenting, you mountains, as you set them free today, they will be shouting hallelujah everywhere. They will be celebrating their freedom and deliverance. You cannot stop them. They become unstoppable from this moment. For the power of deliverance has fallen on them. For upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. <laughs> and holiness shall begin to spring up from left, right, and center. All those who cannot believe, who cannot repent, will begin to repent. Because the power that holds them has been fallen, has been disgraced, has been destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't know who I'm talking to, but as you continue to listen to and share this message, the Lord will stretch out his hand and take you out of the mild waters of this earth. There are water, there are swamps wherein the enemy has pushed somebody under the sound of my voice. There shall be a drying up of that swamp and you are coming out, you are coming out. A great hand will take you out of that swamp. A great hand will take you out of that relationship that is very toxic, toxic, trying to eat up your head, trying to destroy your destiny. A great hand is picking you out of it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that particular business that is a setup against your destiny, the Lord is bringing you out of it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For the thunder of heaven will visit the camp of the enemy. Even this time, if you believe it, shout amen. 